What's up guys, Tiger Shoe with Pacific Rim Video and we are here at the LA Asian Pacific Film Festival. We're here with the director, writer, and executive producer of the film Izzy. Can you guys introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Alex Chu. I'm uh, the writer-director for, for Izzy. And I'm Michelle Eng and I'm producer and actress on for Izzy. So Alex and Michelle, uh, can you tell us what is Izzy about? Uh, well, the movie is, is essentially about uh, a recovering opioid addict played by Michelle Ang, uh, who moves in next door to uh, a woman with autism uh, played by Jenny Sue. Uh, and meanwhile, their respective single parents are living with them as well, and they also end up developing a romance at the same time as these two young women uh, develop a friendship. And what brought uh, about this subject matter for the film? What influenced you guys to write this movie? Uh, for me, it was I mean, addiction is a part of my family, um, so it was something that's deeply personal, personal to me that I really wanted to, to bring uh, on screen. Um, and in terms of the autism part, that was just I have you know cast of characters like as a writer that I'm, I'm always trying to write different things, and um, part of that was just kind of an evolving process where I worked with Jenny a lot, uh, who plays Laura, the very woman with autism, and we spent a lot of time in Los Angeles here to various organizations uh, interacting with adults with autism and as well as talking to uh, parents who have uh, kids with autism. And Michelle, can you tell us, so you play double duty here, you're executive and an actress in this film, correct? That's correct. Can you tell us uh, your character a little bit about it? Uh, I play a character called Dee Dee. Um, she is a first generation Asian American. Uh, she's a photojournalist and a filmmaker and a beat poet. Uh, so she's, you know, creative endeavors, but she's struggled with opioid addiction, which is quite a common phenomenon in America. Um, and so this is a story about her recovery, actually, which is um, Alex wanted to tell the story of like an opioid addiction, but reframe it and talk about what the recovery looks like as opposed to like the, you know, a glamorization of like an addict. You know what I find really interesting about this film is that you know not only the mental health aspect of it, uh, but also the, the opioid addiction, like the, the addiction aspect of it. Asian Americans are often left out in both of these conversations. So creating this film was that uh, like a conscious effort that this is what we want to discuss, or it just so happened to align with how we're going to make this film. I mean, it's just it's a part of my reality. You know, I mean, I think um, as you mentioned that it, it doesn't. I think Asian Americans. Uh, we are who people think we they want us to be, right? You know, so like to some parts, we're the model minority, you know. And the thing is, is we're human beings. Like, a lot of us face the same kind of issues and flaws that everybody else does. And I mean, that wasn't really for me a conscious decision as much as it was just an outgrowth of the reality that I face. You know, and when it comes to addiction, I mean, you know, addiction knows no boundaries. Yeah, knows no colors. It knows no colors and knows no generation. I mean, there's people in my family, whether here or in Taiwan, that have battled that condition. So I don't, I don't think it's... I, I just think it was just it's more of an organic outlook. And for you, Michelle, you know, as an executive person and an actress in this, how difficult was it to kind of open the doors to kind of discuss these things or even to portray them? Well, I mean, to your point earlier, I haven't had an opportunity uh, to play a character like this because of the, 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 stigma, view, the stigma, yeah, the stereotyping. So I was excited um, and, and it was also an area that I personally didn't know very much about so I had to do some research too and uh, I'm not from America and so this whole... You're kidding! I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I know, surprise! Um, the whole prescription, the availability of prescription pills and I mean I was really, it was really sort of alarming and, and eye-opening for me about how, again, like it, does, it knows no, no boundaries. I mean I think Ohio has the highest rate of uh, opioid addiction in the middle class. Yeah. So it's not the Hollywood stereotype of this sort of like drugged out like musician kind of. It's, it's yeah, the glamour. There's no glamour to it. There's no glamour to it. And I really love what Alex did in terms of like keeping. Yes, she is a she is a addict in recovery, but there's so many other parts where she's trying for a second. She's a, looking for second chances. She has a complicated relationship with her mother. Um, it's like a layered, a layered full character. Well, you know, and I think another great thing about this film is you know, we're talking about very issues that all Americans have to face, but as Asian Americans even, generationally, it can be difficult to talk about. And what's great about your, your cast and crew is you have 
this huge, great generation of actors and artists. You have obviously Michelle here, but you have Elizabeth Song, who yes. was a pioneer Absolutely. in Asian yeah. film, and uh, Jim Lau. Like, yeah. you know, how did they get involved, and what was it like having them on set? I mean, they were amazing. They were. Um, I've worked with both of them before in the past, and um, you know, they they're inspiring to me simply because they paved the way for so many of us. Going back decades, and, you know, they bring a lot of their wisdom to not just to their roles on set, but also to production and to, they've seen it all, you know. And just having them on set is really it's, it's inspiring because you know the fact that they've been able to not just survive but thrive throughout this whole you know through many decades. Yeah. Uh, and it's only now that you know as Asian Americans we are coming upon our so-called moment. You know, for the fact that they've been able to do this before that, I think is really, it's, it's amazing. I, and I'm, I could not be more happier for you know, where we're at today. And Michelle, I was going to ask you, as an actress, we're, you're sharing the, the, the screen with them, as well as the executive producer. Does that get difficult to juggle both hats here? Um, well, I, I was part of a producing team, so it wasn't just uh, on me, but we really did as much planning before principal photography because I knew that the strain of you know, shooting and being in character was going to probably take me away from some producing responsibilities. So we had a really great line producer on board. Um, so we, yeah, planning enabled me to separate those two roles. So when we were actually shooting, I was able to mostly just concentrate on, on developing and being in character. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, you know, we want to know how can we support this film? How can we follow it? When is it screening at the festival? And beyond, what can we do to follow the film? Um, so we're screening, uh, we're doing, we have our LA premiere here uh, on Monday, May 7th at 7.30 at LA Live Regal Cinemas. Um, so excited. Yes, yes. And, and going, and this, we're just in the beginning of our festival process. We're going to be at other festivals in the future uh, that we can't see yet. Um, but um, we well, can't announce yet officially. And um, if you want to follow us, you can follow us at 4 the movie. Uh, and Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So the Same handle was for Izzy the movie on everything. Yes. She's doing the uh, the producing part. <laughs> yeah, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for your time, and best of luck to the film. Thank you. So I can't much. wait to see it. Thanks, Tiger. Thank